often referred to as the Ghost of the Mountains. The Snow Leopard is an elusive big cat that reigns among the peaks of the Himalayas. Snow Leopards act as an ambassador of the planet's highest places and are considered sacred by the people who live there. As an apex predator, the presence of this big cat indicates a healthy ecosystem. Cougars are the second largest cat in North America. Despite their size and presence across much of the western part of the continent, these cats are rarely seen by humans. Indeed, they are shy, solitary creatures that spend the majority of their lives alone. Both of them are among the most powerful and formidable creatures. It is, therefore, hard to decide the winner of a fight between a snow leopard and a cougar. Before giving our opinion, we will try to make an objective comparison between the two felines. Description The snow leopard has several physical characteristics that are adapted to its environment. These traits also distinguish the snow leopard from other big cats. The snow leopard's fur camouflages the cat against rocky terrain and protects it from cold temperatures. The dense fur is white on the snow leopard's belly, gray on its head, and dotted with black rosettes. Thick fur also covers the cat's large paws, helping to grip slick surfaces and minimize heat loss. The snow leopard has short legs, a stocky body, and an extremely long, bushy tail, which it can curl over its face to stay warm. Its short muzzle and small ears also help the animal conserve heat. While other big cats have golden eyes, the snow leopard's eyes are gray or green. Also, unlike other big cats, the snow leopard cannot roar. It communicates using mews, growls, chuffing, hisses, and wails. Male snow leopards are larger than females, but they have a similar appearance. On average, a snow leopard's length is between 75 and 150 centimeters, or 30 to 59 inches, plus a tail that's 80 to 105 centimeters, or 31 to 41 inches long. The average snow leopard weighs between 22 and 55 kilograms, or 49 to 121 pounds. A large male may reach 75 kilograms, or 165 pounds, while a small female may weigh under 25 kilograms, or 55 pounds. Cougars are slender, agile, and fierce. There is nothing cute about cougars. They're large, fast, adaptable animals with large claws and powerful teeth. Their paws are large at the end of their long, lithe limbs, lending them a remarkable speed over short distances. They're also skilled at leaping and jumping, and they can swim, although they choose not to unless they have no other option. They're not amazing climbers of trees, but they're good at scaling rocks and mountains with their broad paw pads. Their coat is always plain and typically of a tawny color, though there have been incidences of gray or red cougars. The young are slightly differently marked, however. Cougars are born spotted and their coats fade to pale over time, before finally darkening into their adult colors after the first year of their life. This is thought to be an aid to camouflage. While adult cougars need to blend in with the rocks and desert around them, infants are likely to be hidden in dappled shadows, in crevices, and underbrush. Cougars have similar body types to house cats, only on a larger scale. They vary between 1.5 and 2.7 meters, or 5 to 9 feet from head to tail, while males can weigh up to 68 kilograms, or 150 pounds. Females weigh less, topping out at nearly 45 kilograms, or 100 pounds. Range and Habitat Snow leopards live in the mountainous regions of Central and Southern Asia. In India, their geographical range encompasses a large part of the Western Himalayas, including the states of Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and Sikkim, and Arunachal Pradesh and Eastern Himalayas. Snow leopards prefer steep, rugged terrain with rocky outcrops and ravines. This type of habitat provides good cover and a clear view to help them sneak up on their prey. They are found at elevations of 3,000 to 5,000 meters or higher in the Himalayas. The geographic range of the cougar is the greatest of any large wild terrestrial mammal in the Western Hemisphere. From Canadian Yukon through the US, Central and South America to the southern tip of Chile, 
cougars were extirpated from the eastern and central parts of North America within 200 years following European colonization, except for a remnant subpopulation in South Florida. Cougars live in a wide variety of environments including montane coniferous forests, grassland, swamps, lowland tropical forests, dry brush country, and any other areas that offer adequate cover and prey. They use dense vegetation, rocky crevices, and caves for shelter. Diet and Behavior Snow leopards are carnivorous and must hunt live prey to survive. They hunt by actively searching for prey and approaching from above. Their most frequent prey include the Himalayan blue sheep and the Siberian ibex. They will also hunt Himalayan tar, markar, horse, and mountain sheep. When prey is scarce, they have also been known to take smaller mammals like pika, vole, and marmot. Snow leopards are most active at dawn and dusk. They also are very mobile, moving from place to place daily, moving their resting site many times during the day. Generally, they stay for several weeks in one particular part of their home range before moving on to another one. These leopards are solitary except during the mating season. They deliberately avoid each other by marking travel routes with feces, scrapes, and pungent scent sprays. Snow leopards actively hunt their prey, pursuing it down steep mountainsides and using the momentum of their initial leap to chase animals for up to 300 meters or 980 feet. To communicate with each other, these massive hunters use meowing, grunting, prusten, and moaning. They can also purr when exhaling. The expansion of human settlement, especially livestock grazing, has led to increased conflict. Herders sometimes kill snow leopards to prevent or retaliate against the predation of their domestic animals. Their lives are also threatened by poaching, driven by illegal trades in pelts and in body parts used for traditional Chinese medicine. These cats appear to be in dramatic decline. They've lost at least 20% of their population in two decades as a result. Vanishing habitat and the decline of the cat's large mammal prey are also contributing factors. Climate change is raising the average temperature across the snow leopard's home range, which scientists believe will shrink the species' alpine habitat and drive competition with other predators like leopards, wild dogs, and tigers. For these reasons, the International Union for Conservation of Nature classifies snow leopards as vulnerable to extinction. Cougars are powerful predators. They prefer large prey, primarily deer, but will consume smaller animals such as coyotes, porcupines, and raccoons. Cougars typically hunt between dusk and dawn. These cats do not chase their prey, but stealthily stalk and ambush it, commonly leaping onto their prey's back and lethally biting it in the neck. Cougars typically consume a deer every week to 10 days and will hide large carcasses to feed off for several days. Cougars are undoubtedly fierce. They hiss, growl, and scream. They're as large as a human, and they can leap great distances to rip their prey to shreds. There is little about a cougar that can be tamed, domesticated, or rendered safe. They're not friendly or docile and they can't be enticed into games or befriended by people. They are apex predators, and they are very adapted to maintaining that status against all the odds. They communicate very little, at least vocally. While mother and cubs might use vocal communication, older cougars rarely do, preferring to rely on body language, scent marking, and simple avoidance. They live alone keep themselves to themselves, behave secretively, and hunt only under cover of darkness. They display some activity around the hours of dusk and dawn, but it's rare to encounter a cougar in broad daylight, as they generally spend those hours sleeping and resting in small, hidden places. Male cougars are particularly vicious, particularly as they have more to fight for. They mate with more than one female, defend large territories that often overlap those of females, need to hunt, kill, and eat more often than females, and do not have the female preoccupation of raising cubs. As such, they come into opposition often, and will sometimes fight to the death over a particular prey animal, female cougar, or path of land. 
Who would win if the Snow Leopard and the Cougar would fight? There is no real way to know. Of course, smart money must be placed on the Cougar, because an adult Cougar is larger than a normal adult Snow Leopard. Cougars are not only larger in size and weight, but they are also stronger and more agile than Tibetan cats. Snow Leopards are the weakest among pantherines, although they are still impressive cats themselves. Due to the lack of other pantherines in the United States and Canada, mountain lions have filled their niche and have been successful top predators for thousands of years. Their body structure is almost comparable to real big cats. On the other hand, Snow Leopard had to face the opposite situation as they adapted to living in the harsh Himalayas. Their physique changed, they became fatter and hairier instead of muscular. If size and tools matter, of course, the cougar wins, but it's wrong to underestimate any snow leopard. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.